Well, welcome back DIY car guys and car girls. And we have successfully pinned this hub, which is the ATI 347,000 sticker hub, is a dual key hub, but I only have a single key crank. So I pinned the other side. Kind of seen lots of pictures, lots of stories about when you run a supercharger, especially you crank up the boost, where these hubs will crack, the stock ones right here, because they're a lot thinner. And I also want to say thank you to all my subscribers and all people who have given me advice. I grabbed that better harmonic balancer or hub removal tool from Harbor Freight, which is about $90, and it broke this guy right free. So you guys are exactly right. We got it off. Let's talk about this pin. Let's look at the crank that I pinned. So today, that's what we're doing. Okay, so let's compare. And as you can see, look at this guy right here. Let's go ahead and put the calipers on there. See, it's coming up as one inch, 939 thousandths. They claim it to be one inch, 940 thousandths. So that's pretty much right in the ballpark. But if you put this over here, a look at the difference. That's quite substantial, right? And where these hubs usually crack, they crack right here when you're doing a supercharger. And my theory behind that is those keys don't fit perfectly in here. There's room this way or that way. So as your motor's torquing and spinning and going down with that belt on there dragging it, that key is slamming on this side, slamming on this side. Over time, this guy will crack. We can see how much thicker this guy is. And we also pinned this guy, like I said before. See that pin in there? And that pin is not going to allow it to rotate at all, which is why I think pins are better than keys. Because this key, unless you get it perfect and you spend your time doing that, nine times out of ten it's not. And this thing goes, even if you have two of them, it'll go this way, that way, that way, that way. But with a pin, it will not. And especially since I'm not using a big block Chevy snout, it's, it is a forged crank, so I have a little bit of a help there at being stronger. But you see right here, these hubs only come dual keyway, right? That's the only way they make these thicker hubs. Since I didn't have a dual keyway crank, of course, I pinned one side. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and lube this guy up. And if you're curious how these guys get pinned, it's from this side. Same way you do with the LS, this guy goes on here and you drill in. That's how that works. So I'm gonna lube this guy up and we're going to install it. Okay, so don't pay attention to this, this is just for the installer, but Pay attention to this. This is the special seal that that hub comes with. So this seal is special to that hub. You cannot use a stock one because of course it's not big enough. Let's go ahead and get this guy started. Okay, so the first thing we obviously gotta do, because remember on this side the key, it will go up or down some. We need to make sure that that pin, that pin is an exact fit. So we need to make sure that the pin hole is lining up first. So what I'm gonna do, there's another tool that goes on this guy right here, but I'm gonna do it like this at first until we verify that the pin and the key is lined up. Okay, we're looking pretty darn close right there, guys. So let's go ahead and use this, which has a roller bearing. So when this guy goes in right here, it will just push the entire weight of that on there. Let's go ahead and back this out and get it fully seated in the crank. All right, here we go. Just to keep it from rotating on us, we're not pulling it, we're pushing it this time. That is automatically way easier having a roller bearing there to push it on, guys. This tool is boss. I'll use that cheap shit, it's way better. Okay, so it's definitely harder to see with this guy here, so I'm glad I started it without it. But, let me go get the phone. There's the pin on that side, looks like it's going into the crank. And then right here, we have the key. So let's go ahead and tighten it all the way down. All right, I think we're there. All right, that looks exactly where the pin was last time. Well, there we have it. A 347,000 thicker hub and a pinned and keyed Gen 1 small block Chevy. Well, it's definitely better than just using a stock hub and one key. So 
we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, that's it for today. I want to thank my viewers and I'm going to put the comments in there. And for also not getting on me super hard for screwing up on one side. No harm, no foul. I think we're good. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe and peace. Peace. <laughs>